let's bring this these cards on the table here. I'm pretty sure he's talking about porn. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't I cannot think of any besetting sin other than perhaps alcoholism. What would what is besetting? Drug besetting? addiction. It be, it's a sin you can't escape. You're trying and it keeps coming back and you keep getting stuck in it. Okay. The only things that fit in that category are addictive behaviors. So sexual addiction, which porn fosters and is, alcohol addiction, drug abuse and addiction. Would hatred of somebody It could be, be that? but like But it's more For twenty years I've tried yeah. to fight this thing and it just keeps coming back and I don't really want to do it. Like yeah, it just sounds. You kind of let your hatred of your neighbor just kind of go. Like you don't you don't dwell on it. Mm, I see. You're like yeah, I don't like that mm-hmm. guy. But you're not you're not like your conscience isn't like, man, I keep hating my neighbor. What am I gonna do? Oh, I hated my neighbor again. Like yeah, nobody does that. Um, okay. So, so I, I can see where you're. So I'm pretty about. confident. So let's just call it addiction. It's yeah. addiction. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Paul is not talking about addiction. Can addiction take you away from Christ? Yes. Do you want to fight your addiction? Yes. But when you find yourself as an addict, God's not going to refuse to forgive you because you're an addict. Okay. Um, It is your addiction that he forgives. So stand up and fight again. And stop thinking you're never going to be tempted by your addiction. If you're an addict, you're going to be tempted by your addiction again. It's, it's like the salvation fantasy thing from earlier. You're going to be tempted by this. It's not going away. Now, I, I can tell you, if your addiction is porn, you can put up all the little blockers you want on your computer that you want. Mm-hmm. You can get your little accountability thing going. You can do all that. You need to turn the thing off. No more movies, Mm -hmm. no more video games, no more TV, no more watching anything. Do that for a year, two years. Something tells me the battle changes touch, okay? At least a touch. The way that porn works as an addiction is that it changes the way that your brain functions. Mm -hmm. It teaches you to need dopamine the same way that sugar or cocaine would teach you to need dopamine dopamine and so you get in a state where you're hungry for the dopamine and there's no other way to fix it right right? um so then you then act upon that as a christian man and afterwards you go i just committed adultery Mm -hmm. i'm gonna say no you didn't now i get it jesus says like a man who lusts after a woman he has committed adultery within his heart yes this is true Okay, so on Judgment Day, if you're not a Christian, all your porn use is going to stack up on you big time. Especially if you thought, it wasn't wrong, I wasn't cheating. Okay, wrong. But you, let's, let's bring it back now, now. Like, you're a Christian wanting to stop. You didn't sleep with another woman. You didn't sleep with your neighbor's wife. You were entrapped by perverse men who provided you an addictive substance and got it into your hands again. So stop judging yourself for that weakness and instead take some action to stop the wicked men from having access to you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now let me give you another one. Okay. I, I just said pornography is not adultery. I think you can make the case it is adultery. So don't get too wooden on me here, but I don't think pornography is adultery. I think it's idolatry. Mm. Interesting. You're not with another woman. You're with an image. You're worshiping an image in a very disgusting way. Mm. Okay? Yeah. So put that in your, your mental here for a moment, though, and realize then you are subject to idolatry, which is also demonic torment. And, you be, and it's addictive. It's super powerful. But stop saying, I'm an adulterer. I'm an adulterer. Oh, I committed adultery. Stop it. That, that loop is part of the problem. Get out of the loop. Fight the picture. Uh, um, Fight the demons. Uh, See that that's where the battle is. And then, again, when you fail, you get away for three weeks, and then you fall back in again. Stop being like, oh, poor me, beat up myself, I failed again. 
and instead say, Jesus Christ, have mercy on me and walk forward one more time. 